If you need to automatically generate serial numbers or index numbers for your rows like this, there are two distinct methods at your disposal using count a function. And all this method works regardless of whether you delete or hide or even apply filters to your data set. And this is how I do it. I'm going to start off by enabling the filter here. So it's going to be control shift L to enable your filter. The first formula is this. So essentially I'm using a function number three and apply to the rest of the row like this. And now if I apply filter and maybe hide a couple of rows, control nine is to hide rows. You can see that the index or the serial number is still in sequence. I'm going to undo everything again. Another method you can use is using the function code 103. And I'm going to apply it to the rest of the row like this. If you need a detailed explanation of how this formula works, it will be on the description of this video. Now I'm going to apply filter, hide a couple of rows, and you can see that the index or the sequence number are still in order. In the second part, I'll showcase an alternate approach to obtaining a number sequence distinct from using subtotal function. Stay tuned.